Here we have the Husqvarna Viking H Class 600E, which I inherited. And uh, it did not come with a pedal. And no USB dongle. So not a whole lot of use there. But I made a new pedal, which, by the way, you cannot buy online anywhere. I, I don't know how you're supposed to get a new pedal if your pedal breaks or whatever. They don't seem to sell them anymore. So here's one I made out of a 2 before and a, what, a 1 before and a spring and a 20 kilo ohm linear potentiometer. Uh, that was 50 cents. You can buy those wherever you buy stuff. As well as a flattened nail as my uh, pusher bar and an eyelet which I use to attach the pusher bar to the top thing and just a little a uh, hinge on the back there. So very simple and it also runs as you can see over here. It uses just a stereo plug. I suppose I could use a mono plug but I didn't have one on hand so I used a stereo and I attached it to the, the proper uh, terminals. And this thing made it long enough so that you can actually you know use it. And you just plug it in into the old uh, proper receptacle there. Okay, it, 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 it beeps. I don't know why it beeps. It beeps, but it works. Here we go. Okay, I'll, I'll show you first like this. Proof of concept. Oh, yeah. And even fast. Okay, let's put that down there on the floor where my foot can reach it. And here we go. Yeah. Sewing. So, that's it for now. It was very easy to build. All you need is just a potentiometer. 20 kilo ohm is the proper uh, rating. I tried a 10, I tried a 30, I tried different ones. 20 is the one that works. And you just need a uh, some type of a headphone jack of some sort and some wire. An old spring from probably a printer or something. And it'll work. Uh, hopefully, I will then move on to hacking this thing to accept G-code instead of, I'm sure, whatever proprietary format that it uses. So I'll have to tap into the, uh, the servo motors. Maybe not too hard, but it's going to take time. So that'll come later. All right. Bye.